2 million visitors a year, Moab is completely entitled to all of their paid camping spots. But if you're on a tight budget and you're looking for some free camping, dispersed camping, it's a little tough to find. They don't mark them on the, on the maps, and we're going to show you where these places are. This is where we are right now. This is a free camp spot that is not on a marked map anywhere. We even went to the BLM office and asked them, and uh, they didn't circle any spots on the map for us. Uh, they don't even sell maps there. They give away these little kind of okay maps. But uh, we found it. We're going to show you where it is. But if you're going to camp here, there's one thing you're going to absolutely need, especially if you're going to have a visit from a law enforcement officer out here, and that is a porta potty. So here's what happened since our last video. We went to the BLM Moab office, which is at 82 Dogwood Avenue, and we were greeted by Judy at the front desk, who was very friendly, but didn't give us a map. They didn't even have maps to sell, except for these little printout maps on a little newspaper thing that didn't show any BLM land that was free to camp at. This is what the map looked like. So this is what she gave us, and you can clearly see that camp only in campsites is in blue and white. And here's Moab. I'm going to show you that a little bit better in a minute. This is the Colorado River that has all paid camping all through here. Here's Arches Nat National Park, which isn't that far from Moab, maybe five or six miles. And so what we did is we went ahead and went to the National Park because we wanted to see the arches and have time in our day to have fun in case we had to leave, in case we couldn't find any free camping. After we left, a friend of mine said to check out Poison Spider. So we went down to Poison Spider. Now we're looking at the Google map of the same thing. There you go, Moab. Here's the arches. So we just followed the river down looking for Poison Spider, which we were told had free camping. It probably did last year, and we didn't find any. It's all, there's signs everywhere that say no camping beyond this point. So we kept going down the river, coming back to the map that we were given at the BLM office, to right here. And when we got here, this is what we found. Following Highway 279, basically southeast, away from the Arches Park, you'll come to where the pavement ends and the dirt road begins, and you'll see a you'll see a boat ramp and a little parking area, and you'll see a sign that says "Welcome." This road crosses land owned by the Moab Salt LLC for the next five miles. The road is open to the public for recreational purposes. Please stay on the existing roads. And just when we thought that we were home free and had a camp spot for the night, we find that a tire is missing on one of the bicycles, the nicer tire. All right, so what's going on is we just left the Arches National Park and came out to find a camping spot. And we found a camping spot that's uh, open uh, land camping, dispersed camping. But in the process, you see what happened is I noticed that I lost the back tire on one of the bikes. I'm sure that we dropped it. I'm sure somebody didn't take it from the parker. I would have noticed. Um, so I've got to go out and look for it. And then we were going up the hill to look for it. And I didn't get enough speed and I got stuck. And this trailer is really hard to back up um, when you can't go forward when you want to straighten out the trailer. So it's twisted. It's not, nothing's hurt. I can get this out. What I'm going to try to do is uh, get the back door open. You can see I started. And get a jack to lift that off because all my strength, all my strength I can't lift that off. I even spun the nut on the bottom to create more play and hit it with some of these rocks to try to, it's down. The, the bottom part's down, but I just can't get it to release. So here we are. I know the wind's hitting the mic. There's nothing I can do about it. I'm on my iPhone right now. All our batteries are dead. I just didn't want to not film this. So here we are, and the sun's setting, and I got to drop that motorcycle and go look for that tire. Okay, so the saga continues. We just had to drop the trailer because we tried to, well, we didn't try to. We were going to camp at this beautiful spot. 
beautiful. And we came down this hill. It doesn't look bad on film, but it really is. We tried to go back up it because we lost a bicycle tire somewhere down the road. So you can see him. Looks like he's coming back towards me. Did he already find it, I wonder? I don't know, it's pretty far away. So, about a mile down that road, it was sitting on the side of the road. And we passed a guy coming up here. Yeah. Who had to have seen it. Yeah. And was nice enough to just leave it there, knowing we'd come back for it. I don't know what this would cost, a specialized DD Swiss rim with a tire and a, and a rotor, but we don't have it. So we got it. Yes. We found it. So show the trailer. So now we gotta just jack up the trailer, back it onto the hitch, and, um, and get back to business. So all's well that ends well. And that road that I walked is like gravy, so we don't have to do that again. With the trailer back on the van and the bike back together, we settled in at a great spot that overlooked the river, which I'll go ahead and give you the coordinates to this if you'd like to come here yourself, and you're not gonna have to deal with that hill because we found another way to get up over to that spot that was flat, even a class A or class C could have done it. And by the way, we did go to the arches that day, so here's some stuff from that. Falling off of the cliffs, <laughs> so they don't allow pets in the parks anymore. Okay, well we won't bring the dogs in the park. Um, so we just got our pass, and we're going to head up to the arches in yeah. Moab and check it out. Okay. Yep. Hi, we're here. We made it. We're at the windows at Arches National Park, uh, right outside of Moab, Utah. And it's uh, the end of May 2015, and it's kind of hot, um, but it feels nice. There's a nice breeze, and it's absolutely gorgeous here. Take a look around. Very cool stuff here. This park's huge, by the way. Get ball. Come on, on. It's not that bad. That's down. That's where we've been so far. It's not that bad. It's probably in the high 80s or something in the temperature. And there's a breeze. Going that way. Yep. He says, I ain't no dummy. Good thing we ate before we started the walk, huh? Yeah, I could have it if it Okay, we're Yeah, we're almost at the top of uh what is it? Delicate arches? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, I see it.
Yeah, it's kind of funny. We got up to the top of the ridge thinking that yeah, it would overlook it and then it was just more trail. Oh, you guys know it's just a half hour. It's all right. I know. I'm glad that the sun's behind the clouds now. What's on the Utah license plate, this one? I don't know. Looks like it. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, one more. And then you've got the snow capped mountains through the center. That's awesome. side of me and we'll walk back. Coming up in our next video we're going to show more of Arches National Park, namely Devil's Garden. I'm going to take a ride on Patash Road or Patash Trail looking for more free camping. We're going to take a look at both Goose Island and Grand Staff campgrounds right there on the river near Moab and we might even have a run-in with some code enforcement as I check out Gemini Bridges on the motorcycle. Cake and showers, cake and showers.